So I've been here about an hour and I found Burger King. So come to Burger King in Seville with me. Wow, it's quite a big one. <laughs> You would think that if you're traveling to a different location that you would try to eat local food or I don't know, like one of the cultural normal foods instead of going to Burger King out of all places. Not even Mickey D's as well. Maybe it's different out here. I think she's in Spain right now. If you guys don't know, Becky's on the cruise right now. We're going to go through it. We're going to cover all of the stuff, all the meaningful stuff at least. There's a lot of filler arc, but we're going to cut out a lot of the filler and get right to the meat of the, the whole adventure. But this is the start of her journey. She went on the plane and then she flew out to Spain and here she is, man. Uh, who would have known? Becky would have found her way to a Burger King of all places. Not surprising, but it's pretty depressing. I don't know what it is, but it's just so nice when you come to a different... Yeah, nobody's in here. Literally, not a single person is in here. I think this is probably the only Burger King in the entire country of Spain. <laughs> like fast food, please. Nobody, bro. Literally, is, it's absent, dude. There's not. I'm surprised there are even workers here. It's abroad. <laughs> Look at the drinks machine. It's clean. They're cleaner than any cleaner than any Burger King I've ever been in, dude. Um, I just gotta call it out, dude. I really don't think that these nails were the right go for somebody like Becky, bro. Um, but of course, of course, she's gonna go right for the sweet treats. Of course. Sweet, sweet treats. I know. Look at the ice cream as well. Oh, I'm getting an ice cream and the shake. Yeah, of course. You're gonna get an ice cream. <gasps> How do we go back? Look at this ice cream. They got milk here. Oh. Whatever, Becky. Whatever. Wow. It's not It's not anything special, dude. It's just ice cream, bro. Why are you acting like this shit is like the second coming of Jesus or something? Or it's like ambrosia bestowed upon us from the gods themselves. Just basic ice cream, dude. Like, if there was probably... It, it, the only thing that would make the ice cream better is if there was like an Amish woman in the back actually churning the milk into butter actively. That would be the only thing that'd make it better. But honestly speaking, ice cream is just basic, so... Hmm. The burgers do look pretty good. I don't think they're ever going to look like this. People have told me, though, if you go to other countries, the fast food in their countries is, is, is significantly better than the fast food here in America. And that's probably because here in America, are low. we have such low standards for most of our food choices. So, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. God damn. Oh, I'm going to get a... Large. Oh, extra large. I don't know if it's got an extra large. You, come on, you know you get the extra. I'm going to get the extra large yeah. one, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go for Fanta Lemon. Man. Woo! Man! That filter is not working today! And you know what? I don't have a problem with people using filters. I really don't. The issue I see with somebody like Becky is that she always says she doesn't use them. She always claims in her comment section, even in videos where she says she's not using filters. How the hell are you going to lie to me this hard? I'm literally seeing pores on your face I've never seen before in my life. Usually, your face is as smooth as a freshly opened can of peanut butter. You ever, you ever open a jar and it's so smooth that you don't even want to put that spoon in there or the knife in there to disturb the smoothness of it? That's Becky's face every single time she cl I click on one of her videos. I don't know what kind of filter she has on, but that shit got to be cooking that CPU OD too. Um, it also slims down her face. I've noticed that her double chin evaporates or tries to disappear whenever she gets on that filter. Um, but one thing I have acknowledged is that, by the way, we do streams on the channel every day. And we cover Becky almost every single day or as much as we can. One thing I've noticed is that from every other person's camera angle, she looks a little different. She looks a little bit suspect, if you will. And that's because other people are not using filters. And whenever I see other people on her camera, they be looking really good. They look so tasty. Whitest teeth you've ever seen. The most flattering skin you've ever seen. Not a beauty mark in sight. I'm talking about the most beautiful ever. And uh, as you can see here, I don't know what happened here. Maybe she just didn't apply sunblock or something like that. Tons of sun damage pores beyond belief it's okay becky it's hard to say you use filters so i've got my whopper oh, nuggets geez. and chips and my fanta yeah well, but where's that where's the ice cream that you ordered i know you ordered that ice cream Lemon. guys look what they do sour cream dip okay. in your face mcdonald's don't care it's burger king <laughs> let's try a nugget as you can, yeah, bro, that's just really, really tragic, man. This is what happens when you condition your audience to look at you with a filter on, and then you see, then you see yourself without a filter, and then you're like, Jesus, man, you don't look anything like you usually do, Becky. And uh, you know what, man? Stop it. 
just stop using the filters altogether. I, I want you like this. I know you're insecure, don't know what for, you're turning heads when you walk through the door, or, but it, 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 it's giving too much insecurity, bro. Uh, it shouldn't be this easy for me to, to, to notice the amount of imperfections on your face compared to the, the non-filters. Damn. Mm. Yeah, dude, I don't think she applied sunblock or something, dude. Get that SPF 50 right on there, man. Jesus. I know you got a lot of surface area. When you get to this size, you got to apply way, 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 way more. But it shouldn't be that hard. I Maybe, I think, here's what happened, right? Becky lives in the UK. And in the UK, everybody knows this, it's very, very dark. It rains a lot. There's never any sun. If there is sun, it's very few and far between. She's going to a country where there is a lot of sun. I think what happened was her face was like conditioned to never smell the sun ever. And then suddenly she went to a country where, you know, the sun came down and it like cooked her skin because she's never had to deal with actual sun rays before. That UV light hitting her skin was like unnatural. So her skin like reacted in a very particular way. Or... This just might be default how Becky is. I don't know, bro. Either way, it's not good because those filters be really cook, really be oh, working OD on her face. Mm. The sauce is amazing, guys. It's it's Burger King, Becky. Mm. I don't know why her filter wasn't working here. So nice. Yeah, you have, the filter, I guess, just didn't want to crop on properly here. I don't know. Let's try the Whopper. Big as fuck. God. Damn, Becky. You know there were other things, right? When I've been when when we've been watching Corey and Charlie Ann and his girlfriend go around the world and stuff like that, traveling to different locales, I've realized that they have no problem shopping and dining in local restaurants and getting the cultural norms in terms of foods and things like that. Becky, on the other hand, nah. Right to Burger King. Right to fucking Burger King, dude. No excuses either, Becky. Come on, dude. I get it. We all like burgers. Burgers are great. There's other stuff, right? There's got to be other food there. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Come and get some snack. Yeah, I mean, if you look at that before and after. <laughs> Hold up, bro. Mm -hmm. Come and get that before and after. Look how smooth she is there compared to there. It's like it's night and day. And you know what? Whenever I see Becky with this filter on, it always looks so uncanny. It looks like a rubber mask that she just put on her face because the filter is working so hard to smooth it out and find out where her face starts and stops. And everything else around like the eyeballs doesn't seem like it's cropping on properly because I guess it's trying to like mimic what real human beings look like. But it looks so uncanny. I mean, look at that before and after, right? That shit is magnificent, Becky. How the fuck do you expect us to look at you here and then look at you here and not notice a difference? Gee, oh my God. Got some snacks with me in the hotel. That's such a good selection. It's just snacks. What do you got, like Pop-Tarts and Cheetos, bro? Whatever, bro. I, <laughs> what the hell do you mean a good selection? Can you, like, put your mouth on the leaves? That would be way better. I love getting snacks when you go on holiday. <laughs> anyway, I do do a video at the end where I am just talking basically God with my snacks damn. um you'll see that in a minute get the water get the water back actual like oh. you know like sandwich and um, i ended up getting a brioche okay just we brioche got some roll, water ham and i don't know what that is secured the your face don't look real becky damn bro it how's your mouth up here but your chin's down here what the fuck damn bro you gotta have like a five inch gap in between your chin and your mouth good Okay, so let me show you my snacks. I got some of these Cheetos. I'm not sure what flavor they are, but we're gonna try them anyway. They're Halloween got, flavored, obviously. Halloween got some of them. Got some Chips Ahoy. Look, there we go. Can chips you, can you imagine traveling across the entire country and eating Burger King, Chips Ahoy, and Cheetos? Love it. I love this for you, Becky. I really do. Love that. I got a wall. No, I don't. I'm disappointed, okay? There's nothing else I can say about that, okay? This woman literally traveled across the entire country to, to a different one to go on a cruise only to eat the same slop, disgusting, disgusting food you've been eating literally where you live. What's the purpose? You live, you're literally in a different place. Go try some different foods, man. It shouldn't be this easy for you. Why'd you even bother getting your hair done if you were just gonna wear it like this to begin with? What the fuck? Ta. I kind of coke. <laughs> I got these, this as well. 
haven't got a clue bread what's in it, it don't matter it. it doesn't matter what it is she's gonna eat it regardless can we talk about this real quick down, down below in the comment section what do you guys think about these nails i think they kind of look like when you know when you when a body or like you know when you die as a human being you start to decompose a little bit the fermentation comes through it kind of looks like she has like dead fingers if that makes any sense i don't think these colors look really good if she was trying to dress up like frankenstein or something like that for halloween then maybe but i don't think they look very good and she doesn't have a lot of cuticle is one thing you know when you go to like the vietnamese nail salon and they push back your cuticle which always seems really uncomfortable for me i don't like it when they push it back it kind of creeps me out but uh she didn't have a lot of those so she really short stubby fingernails yeah i'm extraordinarily judgmental as you can see it looks like ham and cheese so i got that and I got one of these. Right. I don't even know what that is, but I'm just waiting so for everybody Face else is to so get here now. So it's so exciting. But let's tuck into this because I am really hungry now. Didn't you just eat Burger King literally like a few hours ago then? Okay, whatever, dude. I just double checked that you didn't have to warm it up, but you don't. But yeah, I think it's just ham. Looks like ham and cheese. Damn. That filter really be working hard. Mmm. That's really nice on a brioche. Now, four point. My first foot really high. Then it's ham and now, cheese. Four point like ham and cheese on a brioche bun. Why does it matter? It's ham and cheese. Why does it fucking mm. matter? Why is that even a big deal to you? I love it. <laughs> okay. All right. But I've had an amazing first day. I've caught the sun on my face. That's nice. That's so sweet. Not too spicy. Oh, they smell nice. Little ghost. Great, Becky. I'm so happy for you. Oh my god. Barbecue. They taste like barbecue flavor. Great. That's <laughs> awesome, Becky. I'm so happy they taste like barbecue. Or bat. Yeah. It's just like whatever, bro. I, it, eating Cheetos is Cheetos. Wherever you go, it's the same shit. Same thing with Chips Ahoy. Did you have to buy the big box though? Couldn't you just buy like a little tiny bag? You're already you're already eating literal trash with the Cheetos and the Coca Cola. The the sandwich is okay, but the Chips Ahoy as well, dude. The box of Chips Ahoy. God damn, Becky, that shit's big as hell, dude. Why your face so smooth? The box. But how are you all? Better Hope than you. We all had a great day. I had such a fun day. So excited for tomorrow. But I'm just gonna enjoy my snacks now. Can, can you imagine eating a snack and not a meal? Why didn't you just find a place to eat food? I get when you're traveling, it's okay to like go out and eat food because you're in a different location. You're definitely not going to be able to like cook appropriate foods. It's okay to try out local delicacies or do you not have Uber Eats here? This would be like the time I would be okay with you ordering Uber Eats. I know you do. I see you literally ordering Uber Eats consistently. Does it not track here? Is there not like something that you can use here? All right. I'm waiting for everyone to get here. So um I'll see you soon, Kai. By the way, Becky is going on holiday with um, Corey's World, Charlie Ann, his girlfriend. Um, I don't think any of these people have anything in common with Becky. Becky is not that type of girly that likes to spend all night at the club or go partying, go drinking, you know, spend time um, eating together. Becky is most definitely a closed-in individual, very, very um, antisocial. And that's okay. There's no problem with that. I don't care. I think it's fine that she's antisocial or she's a little bit more internal. That's fine. But they're, Corey's World and his whole gang are most definitely very, very open people. And they drink a lot of alcohol. Every single time you watch a Corey's World video, it's always the same. Oh my god, guys. I've drunk more alcohol. I'm literally an alcoholic. Every single time. Um, these people have a major issue with overconsumption of alcohol all the time, too. Whenever they find a reason to go out, they always drink copious amounts of alcohol. And I don't see Becky... Being able to mesh with those people. I, I just don't. I just don't see how they're going to they're gonna have any type of chemistry at all. Love you, Mom. Love you too, Okay, Becky. guys. So that door is going to knock very soon. And I wonder who it could be. You need to take off the filter, Becky. It's just too much. And she she really be out here on a daily basis telling people she don't use filters, man. <laughs> Someone's at the door. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, Friends at last. Oh my God, I'm so excited. 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 I
Yeah, it's the friends we make on the way. Head. I didn't realize this, but Corey's world is like six foot four. He's a big ass dude. I don't, I don't like see him next to other people very often, with the exception of his girlfriend. I thought, I thought his girlfriend was very short. I was right. His girlfriend is very short, but he's also very tall. Leah with that with that oh, brown yeah. tan. Good. Hi guys. Don't know who these people are. <laughs> Safety. They're just random people they found in the hallway that just saw her. <laughs> people have been taking pictures, by the way, of Becky and, like, noticing that she looks nothing like she does out in the, you know, the real world. And, or, like, in her pictures, um, in her videos, she doesn't look like anything she does <laughs> compared to what she looks like on the cruise. Why in a day on the first day of my cruise? Guys, I love this cruise because you get the all-in-one experience of food. Everything is literally included on board, and there is so much choice. But first of all, we setting herself up for failure, man. Going on this cruise, eating all this food, man. There's buffets on this shit consistently, and they got room service. And I believe Becky got the biggest pass, so she can get like the really deluxe foods and stuff like that. Did a little bit of research beforehand to see what kind of cruise experience this was. There is like an an X like XL pass that you can buy. That's like, you know, um, you know, Netflix Plus or something like that. You So you can get the extra stuff without ads. The same thing here. And you can get more food, about, I guess. Or access to, like, drinking alcohol down in the bars and shit. I don't know. It's irrelevant for Becky. But the food, though, the food is most definitely for her. And just being a big person like Becky is, a lot of people have told me that she weighs around 450, maybe even 500 pounds. I wouldn't be surprised given the pictures that I've been seeing since the crew started. But... She a big girly. She a real big girly, dude. And I really love that she started to work out and she wanted to do a deficit after that whole backlash with the whole, you know, gastric sleeve and stuff like that, the bariatric sleeve. But it seems like she just kind of gave up. It seems like that was never really anything at all to her. Uh, she just kind of wanted to get a one and done. And it seems like now she's just reverted back to her regular diet. Which Everything is, just is literally included on board and there is so much choice. But first of all, we had breakfast in the Hilton Inn Garden in Seville. I went for like a fry up first. So I got scrambled egg, sausage, streaky bacon. And they were like potato, cake, no, hash browns they were basically. And some toast. Once you see what she looks like without the filter, you can't unsee it, bro. It's just so much now, man. I, I I can't now. I'm just so upset that she uses this filter so often. It was so delicious. And you know what? I didn't know for a long time that that filter was even on. I just kind of assumed that she had really, really great skin. I mean, her face always looked kind of weird because of the filter was on it. But I've, I would just kind of chalked it up to she just has a weird face. No, she just has a lot of filter action going on. But, uh, man, it, it's just like, it's really, really jarring now. Delicious. Then Damn. we had a little journey on a coach to board the Sun Princess. And whilst we were doing the tour, we just went to one of the many food places. I got a lemonade to start off with, and then I went for burger and chips. Damn. I got cheese. I think that filter was struggling there. Let start off with, and then I went for burger. Yeah, it looks like that filter tried to crop on. Watch the, watch the crop. And chips. I got cheese. Notice how everybody else always looks so great in her camera, dude. Everybody looks so amazing. Everybody has jaw lines. Everybody has great white teeth. That is obvious because the filter is doing all and that. salad on it. It was Dang. honestly so tasty. The chips were absolutely delicious. I just got so overwhelmed. There's so much to do. Right, yo, you got to calm down, Becky. There, there's got to be some better foods on this, right? There's no way she just spent... By the way, I really hate this. She got her hair done about a week ago. And it seems like... What was even the purpose? That shit literally went back to being her re regular Becky Jones hairstyle. She just has it back. Why'd you even bother getting your hair done if you were just going to have it, like, slip back anyway? It didn't do anything. She And she did it too late. Like, she took too much time. She should have done it, like, the day before she left or something, man. But go off, queen. Enjoy your burger. So many places to eat. Damn, she can't even fit that shit in her mouth. Her mouth is unusually small. I will agree. Um, a lot of people have told me that her mouth is small. I, I think I think it is pretty small. And she struggles to fish, f put, put food in her mouth consistently. In the room to get ready for the evening. I ordered room service. Like, who do I think I am? So I ordered a fruit platter, a Coke, a margarita, and a three drinks is insane. Strawberry daiquiri. And I was just chilling on the balcony. And we went for some tea at Love Babrito. Damn. And when I said- Y'all, this is gonna be the worst thing for her, dude. Just consistently going to restaurant to restaurant all day. That's like primarily what people go on cruises for, right? I know that they stop at docks 
and then you can explore the local environment or whatever and you can see all the human trafficking depending on where you're going but one of the main reasons whenever i hear people going on cruise is the food and the bars that's the two major things and you know what dude more power to you if you like the buffets if you like the restaurants and you like drinking alcohol that's great personally i don't like any of those things so uh i don't think i would really enjoy you know like and then also what are you doing like you're just like looking out on your your little your little thing and all you're seeing is blue water that's it you're seeing blue water and you're seeing blue sky it's great if you like blue stuff but i like a little bit more diversity you know what i'm talking about but i'm just saying i don't know Day this was uh, the parked. restaurants are going to be crazy for her though wow this is legit five star dining now i know this portion looks small for me but it was like pumpkin stuffed ravioli it, it, it most definitely is small for you and this is a problem i thought that becky was going to have as well it seems like because she's been eating and conditioning herself for so long eating these ginormous portion sizes i don't think she realizes that your the, the what's supposed to be on the inside of the plate is where your food is actually supposed to be the outside is like too much but anyway yep portion looks small for me i would be upset was, bro if they gave me that portion that shit is small as hell like pumpkin stuffed ravioli with foam carrot the only way i can describe the foam carrot is foamy <laughs> but it was so honestly delicious bro there's nothing on this plate what is this cat food what happened here? It looks like somebody dragged their dick across your plate. Had some drinks as well, and then I didn't realize this was raw tuna. Weren't that fussed on that, but then for the main, I had beef and wagyu. I have never had wagyu in my life. Okay. And then that, that it's was- It's gonna be lost on her. I don't think she really, you know, seeing how Becky eats on a daily basis, I don't think it really matters, right? She has no taste buds anymore. Her ability to eat has literally been, it, it has evolved to such a degree that whatever she puts in her mouth at this point, is really meaningless like it's not about the food anymore it's about what it can do to her and whether or not it can hit those uh sensories you know what i'm talking about the the, the hormones you know ch really firing off to get that to get the enjoyment or whatever they call those things um that's what it's all about i don't think becky really gives a fuck anymore about what she eats so that wagyu or whatever it is like japanese steak or whatever is lost on her eating was charcoal bread damn now without just saying it was amazing damn becky you should have denied this dude Damn, a chocolate cake and the drizzling chocolate syrup on that? She's like, where's where's the Nutella? I w is this Nutella? No, Becky, it's not Nutella. It's just regular chocolate. And everything Damn. was cooked to perfection. The flavors are... More cake? Becky got to calm down. More, Becky? Becky, more so chocolate? intensified, if that makes sense. Only Becky can have a solid meal and then finish it off with two or three different cakes. Chocolate love. And also she had a smoothie too, which I'm I know for a fact that shit was blig. The cake had like a raspberry inside. And then it was like all I can explain it as was a Nutella dip over it. Honestly, so delicious. Aw oh, man, she got the Mick she got the Mick breakfast sandwich. What is that? A, a sausage egg and cheese, dude? I can't even remember filming this bit, but... Damn, yeah. Becky. Looking real rough right now. The Egg McMuffin. Damn, bro. This is like... This is exactly what you see when, when there's a zombie apocalypse, dude. You look down, you see a zombie munching on your feet. Nadine Egg McMuffin. And I got back to the room. I knew it was an Egg McMuffin, dude. She, I knew it, bro. You can't stop Becky from ever going to Mickey D's. She's going to get it whenever, wherever she can, dude. She's unstoppable when it comes bit, to that. But yeah, it's an Egg McMuffin. Damn. A Canadian... That shit is fucking tough. The way she bit into that shit was like it had bones in it or something. And I got back to the room. I am super excited. We've all gone through security, haven't we guys? Hello. Say hi. hi. <laughs> so now you're gonna see something that you've been looking forward to for ages. The no filtered Beckys. And I'm so buzzing, so let's go. Here she is, look how big she is yo calm down for a minute dude hold up honestly it's massive Ooh, calm down take me out first becky take me out first you guys all know i got a crush on becky but this is the cruise guys we've now got our oh, we've now got our medallions and they have one thing i've noticed about this particular shot is that it seems like the filter is trying to crop out the bottom of her chin here the the extra double chin she has if you guys look closely you can see the double chin like kind of jiggling or trying to crop and uncrop simultaneously and i, I don't think the filter fully registers what he what's what it's even looking at this is because human bodies guys. all look like that we've now got our oh, we've now got our medallions and they have our name on i am buzzing oh so i don't know if you can see rebecca there rebecca jones we've checked in haven't we all the cases going to my room 
<laughs> but it's so exciting now. I've just got this little case. Just get anything with this. Feel like a VIP. It's so cool. The filters on Becky Jones should be studied, man. I wonder where she got these ones. It's got to be like some kind of experimental version of what filters are supposed to be because what it's able to do for becky is actually uncanny reducing face by like 30 percent smoothing it out like butter it's just uncanny yeah love it here we go love oh it. my love gosh it. on here now so excited <gasps> ah, exciting damn corey's never looked so good there i am on there how cool is that I think I'm gonna cry, guys. It was so amazing. I'm gonna do a full room tour. We have set sail. Look at my view. It's blue I've water. I've also ordered some room service, mm. and I just can't believe I'm getting room service. I've never ever got room service anywhere, so I'm excited. <laughs> um, so I will show it yet when it comes. What we've got, and then I'm going to get ready. I mean, guys. Like, Three drinks, dude. Come on. What? She's got to be upset that they gave her fruit, right? I know. I am just so buzzing. Lovely. So I've got margarita, Ooh. of course, got a can of Coke, of and I've got a strawberry daiquiri, look at that. And as well, a little fruit butter, buzzing. Some pineapple. Mmm. It's pineapple. I just can't believe I'm casually chilling here on my balcony. I was with these views. I'm loving it. Grape. Ooh, that filter tried it. That filter really tried it for a second there. Ma yeah, melon. Whenever she cuts back, I see it. Like, it just mm. really struggles to crop on. Mm -mm -mm. The beauty of Especially modern filters. Ready for yeah, that's crazy, bro. I'm just chilling. Love you all. Love you too, Becky. I love you too. Um, yeah, it's it's a crazy thing. I love that Becky is exploring the world. I love that she has these opportunities. That's amazing. It's it really is, and I'm happy she's having a fun time. I hope she makes friends. I really do. I really do. It seems like the only friends she actually has is her family members, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But I really feel like Becky overall is a nice girly. I feel like she has a lot to offer. Um, she's not really the best to talk to. I've I've figured. Um, whatever she does say anything that's actually valuable in any particular type of way, she tends to fumble. And she doesn't really make a lot of sense, which is fine. Not everybody needs to be able to do that. But it sucks because she's in social media. So a lot of people are looking for her to say something meaningful every once in a while. But she's not capable of that. It's okay, though. I hope she makes friends. I hope that she eats well. I hope that she makes it back. I hope all this stuff. We're going to watch more and more Becky every single day. If you check me out on stream, we should be watching her maybe right now. I don't know. But regardless, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in cruise because we're all here on the cruise with Becky. I got my sunblock. I got my, I got my floaties on for the pool, man. I'm feeling it right now, dude. I wasn't rich enough to get the room service. So I'm actually a stowaway right now. I'm in the bottom of the boat and I'm like Jack from the Titanic, and I noticed, Cru I noticed Cruz is leaning on one side with the amount of, like, leg of people on this, so, um, hopefully, I don't, I don't die, because I don't know how to swim, but anyway, guys, uh, socials will be listed down below, by the way, you're really, really pretty, amazing, and handsome, all simultaneously, I love the way you look, you're so consistently beautiful, and that's amazing, enjoy the rest of your day, guys, 